How's it going, everybody? Um, well, I had previously ordered some Walmart comic book packs uh, from their website a few months back, and I ended up getting them, um, and they were these 7 for 10 packs. They don't sell the um, normal 3 packs. They, send, they sell these sometimes on their site. So occasionally when the last time I ordered them, they sold them out really quick. And every once in a while, I always check back to see if they um, are starting to sell anymore or not. And I was on there the other day and sure enough, they had some available. So I ordered a couple of packs just to see what's in there. Normally now when you get them on uh, walmart.com with the 7 for 10s, they're usually the older bundles. So um, I ended up getting four packs this time. And we'll open them and see what's in there. I did get a duplicate of this cage one. So odds are it's probably going to be the same stuff in both of them. So I'll op well, we'll do this one first and see what's in there. But basically these 7 for 10s are two three packs with a extra comic stuck in the middle. So um, we'll see what packs we got here and open them up and take it from there. So uh, the comic on the front, the cage number one, is the loose comic. So it's not anything different than a regular standard comic. It's not an exclusive Walmart variant or anything. But so then we have this Contest of Champions pack and then the Doctor Strange pack. So you can't really tell what's in them, but we'll just open them and see what comics we get. So the first pack here is the Contest of Champions with uh, number two on the cover is the cover book. <clears throat> so we got Contest of Champions. Ultimates number two. And then Secret Wars number six. So that's the first pack. And then the next one with the Doctor Strange. I've gotten this Doctor Strange pack before. Um, I'll see if these are anything like the same things I usually get. So that was the first pack. Here's the Doctor Strange. You got Doctor Strange number one. Secret Wars number six. And then A-Force number two from 2016. So as you can tell, these are obviously um, older comics. 2016, that's six years ago already. So I don't know how where these how they get these or where these are, have been sitting or what, but um, anyway. So just let me know in the comments below if any of these uh, ring a bell. If there's anything significant about them, I think that one with the Galactus on the cover is something, um, but I'm not sure. So then here's the Secret Empire pack. We've got Secret Empire number seven is the first book. Um. I don't know if that's a variant or not, but then we have uh, All-New X-Men number one is one of the packs, and then Doctor Strange again. So we might as well do the Doctor Strange and see if this is a duplicate. Like I said, when I had these Doctor Strange ones when they came out originally, I kept getting all the same comics in them. So, I mean, odds are that's what's going to happen with these. But I mean, like this Doctor Strange number one... Um, this is from 2016 also. So um, we got Doctor Strange number one. Got a lot of these Secret Wars number sixes, I guess. And then the Mighty Thor number one. So that's a good one. And then we'll open the uh, all new X-Men. See what's in here. So, all new X Men number one, Squadron Sinister number two, and then this is a Secret Wars comic two, Secret Wars number seven, second print. Oops. So that's the second batch there. So then the next pack I got is. X-Men Prime, so we'll see, uh, like I say, the X-Men Prime is the, the cover comic, that's the loose one, and then we'll see what the three packs are that are inside here. So 
So X-Men Prime. And then we've got Contest of Champions number one. And another Doctor Strange. So let's do Doctor Strange see what's in here. Probably some more Secret Wars. It's interesting experiment to see like what I was hoping that the it might be the ones the batches that had all those high um, high ratio comics, but nope, no such luck. So we got Doctor Strange number one, boom, Secret Wars number seven, and then a Star Wars number thirteen. That's a nice cover, second printing, and then we'll open this contest champions here. At least this way, I know the ones that are out of the stores now, there's really nothing too spectacular about them. But at least these are older comics, so you never know what you're going to get. So uh, Contest of Champions number one, that's a key issue right there. Uh, Venom Space Knight number five, that's kind of a cool cover. And then boom, there's another Secret Wars. I wish this one meant something. I don't know if it does or not. Number seven, second printing. Um, so got that one there. And then, uh, the last pack I have is another, uh, cage number one, dig it. So we'll open this and see what else we got. Uh, like I say, we'll get the, uh, little cage out of here. And then see what the other three packs are. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get another, probably get another Doctor Strange. So there's the Luke Cage. And then, oh, another Contest of Champions. And what do you know, Doctor Strange. So, I mean, it's worth a shot. You never know what you're going to get. Too bad this Doctor Strange doesn't mean anything. I could be making a killing, making a killing on this comic. So, start with him. Doctor Strange number one. We got a Secret Wars. Nope. Uncanny and Humans. Zero. And then Miss Marvel number three. So that's cool. She's got a show coming out too. Don't know if there's any significance to the number three of Miss Marvel. But again, like I say, please leave me some comments below if you see anything that uh, I should be aware of here. I'm not too into... Um, the present day comics but looks like a lot all of these are like six years old so we got another contest of champions number one. Oh, see the duplicate pack venom and then another secret wars number seven second print so there you go um i don't know it's interesting i, I, I don't have any of these comics pretty much the only one i have is dr strange so um it's always good to get some new stuff uh but uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video um, look for more videos, uh, as I do them, I just hit the notification bell. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video. And again, please leave me comments, uh, on anything that you saw that, uh, I may not know that it is significant. So other than that, thanks for watching, everybody. I keep the video short because I uh, just wanted to open these up and show everybody what was in them. Um, and like I say, you can get them on walmart.com. Uh, they're just regular price, $9.98 for the 10 pack or for the 7, seven for 10. So um, if you want to go ahead and buy some, if they're available, like I said, they come in and out all the time, but just double check the Walmart site and do a search for Marvel Comics and they usually pop up. But other than that, thanks again for watching. Good luck out there hunting for comics, everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.